this plexiglass surely gets all scratched up. Uh, there is a video on YouTube that uh, shows how to get the scratches out. But this is such a huge terrarium that, boy, it would be a task to do. And so basically, I've got on my to-do list, I just need to clean this, uh, clean all of the spraying and sparky pushing to get out at times, and, and it gets all disarray. So I have to uh, get that cleaned up today. And he's, he's eyeballing me again, so I don't know what it is, but... I'm going to have to stop because I don't want to let him out today. It's snowy. I'll stop this and show you. It's just really cool, you know, a cool morning here. And snowy, and I don't want to have to let him out this early this morning. I'm not ready to to deal with Sparky this morning, so I'm just going to have to stop. He was content. Everything was fine until I started filming. And This is what happens a lot of times, and he'll start pushing, and... He'll want out. He just doesn't know what's going on, I guess. Sparky is wound up just because I am cleaning this plexiglass. I mean, I just don't understand Sparky. But anyhow, uh, Sparky will go along when he wants out, and he'll push all along here. It really gets dirty. And then on up in here where I spray um, and water, it'll get slopped up. So, um, you just need to clean that from time to time with something non-toxic if you have the uh, plexiglass. Um, because, just think of it like dirty windows looking through dirty windows. So, your turtle, you got to look through dirty windows, don't you, Sparky? When I don't get to it. you just all wound up again. I see you. Hey, Sparky Scott some clean windows to look out of now. Um, I would recommend no more than one tablespoon of vinegar. I used to, I don't know whether that was just a little more than Sparky appreciated or not, uh, but he just gets wound up when I do anything messing with his terrarium, uh, even cleaning the windows. So uh, he seems fine now. Uh, since I stopped cleaning cleaning them. Uh, but I had used two tablespoons of the white vinegar in one of those little buckets about half full of water. But I think one tablespoon is plenty because vinegar does have a strong smell, um, but it's not a toxic uh, thing. Um, so I have used like a non-toxic, um, like non-toxic soap before. Uh, but you just want to make sure and not use anything toxic around your turtle. Um, and so uh, just one tablespoon of vinegar in hot water. I don't think you can go wrong with that. That's just my opinion. So, Spark, what do you think? See, there's still all the scratches. You can still see all these scratches on it. But at least Sparky can see out a little better, can't you, Sparky? Huh? You see out a little bit better. See, he seems fine since I quit messing with the terrarium. Probably come back over and sit on his little dish of greenery again. Or not. Okay, this is what's going on outside today. Uh, my husband said it's four and a half inches of snow out there. Out back here we have a makeshift bird bath and uh, we have a heater in there and a brick on top to hold the heater uh, in the bird bath. And the birds surely do enjoy it. They're not there right now, but they will come. <laughs> 